starting my morning out working on yesterday's video and maybe having some pistachios because you know what makes a better breakfast right good morning everybody and welcome to Monday happy Monday to you it is a new week a new beginning and a new book chapter in the book of our lives um, I'm a little jealous this morning because a friend of mine um, I'll put her uh, YouTube channel listing down below uh, Maggie is headed to Disney World and I'm jealous and I cannot wait for all the pictures I know she's gonna sh inevitably share um, so this week and the next week are probably going to be a lot about Disney vacation and Disney planning because it's that time it's time to start booking my Disney vacation uh, for the fall so throughout this week and next week you're gonna get to see a behind-the-scenes look and kind of how I do my reservation Normally, normally, with a lot of people say that the Disney World website is very difficult to navigate. I never have any problems. I usually can go right through it, through the process, book it, reserve it, tickets, everything, all right there on the site without ever a problem. This year, a little bit different. I have stayed at Disney pretty much every year uh, for the past few years, the same week, the same time. No problem, I can book. Unfortunately, Disney is making it a little more complicated this year. I tend to go when there is no school for fall break and when everybody is back in class, so it's a little less crowded. But, for some reason this year, the week that I'm going, which I've never had a problem booking, is sold out for almost every one of the moderate resorts. Uh, if you don't know anything about Disney resorts, there are three classes. There's economy, moderate, and deluxe. Economy being more like a standard Super 8, Best Western-y kind of style. Not overly elaborate in the bed department or the room uh, or the theming. It's just paired to pretty much a hotel. Uh, then you have the deluxe, or the uh, moderate, excuse me, which is more like heavier themed and more luxurious and a little nicer and better amenities. And then you have the deluxes, which are like the Polynesian, the Grand Floridian, the Contemporary, uh, Wilderness, and the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Those are very themed, very deluxe, very um, expensive, um, to the tune of several thousand dollars sometimes a night, uh, which is a little ridiculous. With that being said, this year's a little bit different. I've actually reached out to five different travel agencies to see about booking through them. The reason being is because a lot of times travel agencies will have a certain block of rooms or certain block of um, availability that maybe the Disney World website won't have. Uh, for example, Disney World may have, let's say, a thousand rooms in their hotel, uh, but they may block off 400 rooms for travel agents or convention use or whatever, and those they don't sell. Uh, you know, they may send another hundred off to uh, let's say Expedia or Travelocity or whatever the other sites are. So that leaves them with another set of rooms which they may or may not even book all of them just to kind of help with crowd control and to kind of divert you to different places. So in this instance, this week, which is normally a pretty slow week for travel to Disney World, it seems to be quite a travel busy day or week uh, for some reason according to their website. Um, I did reach out to them yesterday when I was looking at um, rooms, as I mentioned uh, in yesterday's vlog. I did look in some of the rooms. I did reach out, and one of the resorts that I would, would potentially stay at, uh, which is the Disney Caribbean Beach, not, sorry, not Caribbean Beach, um, Port Orleans. Uh, I like Port Orleans French Quarter, uh, but Port Orleans Riverside is not too bad. I've stayed there before as well. Uh, they have the Royal Suites, which are based around uh, Tiana from Princess and the Frog. Uh, I stayed in one of those. I don't have any video, I don't believe, of that. Uh, but I do definitely have some pictures of it that I can share. But um, I don't mind that one. It's not my favorite by any means. But, I mean, I would stay there again. Um, there, According to the website, when I looked it up, it said, nope, no rooms. None. I was like, okay, so the option on Disney's website is to chat with a technician or an agent or whatever you want to call them uh, to find and help you with reservations. When I spoke with them, they were like, well, there's nothing available at French Quarter or this, that, and the other. But they were like, 
how would you like to stay at Riverside? And I was like, but Riverside says on the website there's no availability. How do they do that? How do they know that there is availability when there's no availability? Um, my guess is they block off certain dates or certain weeks for those resorts. So if you're going to stay for any length of time, they want you to stay there. Because when I shorten my stay, I can find availability throughout the middle of the week, but not on the weekend days. So it's kind of like they block it off, or there are a lot of people traveling on weekends, I get that too. But typically when I've gone at this time of year, it's never been really crowded. So with that being said, I am looking at possibly moving it back. Typically I go to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, which I have a blast uh, at Mickey's Not So Scary. I'll insert a video here. Lies. Lies are spooks of every size. Grim grinning ghosts come out to socialize. As the moon climbs high on the dead oak tree, spooks arrive for the midnight spree. Creepy creeps with eerie eyes. This is Halloween, everybody make a scene. Trick or treat till the neighbor's gonna die of fright. With that being said, I normally go to the Halloween party, but this year it actually tossed around the idea of going to the Christmas party. Um, I like Christmas, not much as Halloween. If you ever look at all my pins, a lot of my pins are the Halloween pins. Um, there's a case up above my head on one of the shelves of the Halloween pins, which don't get me wrong, I love Halloween. I think it's fun. It's you get to dress up, but I'm also a Disney person who does not like crowds. I refuse to go to Disney basically any time through the summer, A, because it's hot, and B, because of the crowds. I don't like the crowds, I don't like the people. Uh, I'd rather go when it's a slower time. I'm kind of like you would say a Disney goer that is also a local, because locals typically don't go in the summer uh, unless it's for a few hours because of the crowds and because of the heat. Um, I prefer going in the late fall, or even in the winter. Uh, and very, very early spring. But basically after, let's say, the end of February, 1st of March, we'll not go to Disney again until the at least October. What's your opinion on that? What do you think about going to Disney? What is your favorite time of year to go to Disney World? Um, those are my favorites. I absolutely love that time of year just because it's less crowded um, and it's not as hot. I don't like the heat. I don't really care for summer all that much anyway. I mean, I like summer and some of the aspects of it. But as far as like the heat, uh, no, I don't want it. Don't want it. So as you guys know, this is the beginning of it. So we're going to start the process now. I'm going to go through the process of getting in touch with these travel agencies to see what they can provide for me. One of them has already reached out. Unfortunately, they have no availability for uh, what I was looking for. I was actually looking at uh, renting a DVC property uh, because I had maybe mentioned it before. Uh, in the near future, I would like to be a DVC member, uh, and that's kind of my process as I thought, well, I'll rent a DVC to see if that's something that I really want to do. Unfortunately, all the points were sold out for that particular uh, week, so not going to be able to do a DVC that week, but maybe next time. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of the process. I'll show you guys as I go along what steps and kind of keep you posted on Disney Trip 2017, uh, and we will return to your regularly scheduled day. So a quick follow up with you on some information. I just got notification that uh, Skycat one and a half is now here. It is back. Um, I didn't have it delivered here. It actually got delivered to a different location uh, for pickup, but Skycat one will be in my hands today. Well, Skycat one and a half being that it had to be replaced. So I'm really excited to be able to take back to the friendly skies. Although it's a little overcast today and not exactly sunny, I still might go out and fly later this evening. But that all depends on how quick I can get it set up and working again. Anyway, I just thought I would share that update with you real quick. Now back to doing some work. All right, to give you a quick update, I did receive an email from one of the travel agents already. Well, actually two of the travel agents that I've contacted. Um, and further research, I may actually push my dates back a week. Um, according to the crowd calendars, and if you don't, if you're a Disney person and you've never done a Disney vacation, or even if you're seasoned and you've never looked at them, 
take a look at the crowd calendars. Just search Disney World crowd calendars. Um, I like, what is it, Disney Prep School, uh, and there's another one uh, that you can look at. And it kind of gives you a breakdown of how the calendar works uh, for crowd control and crowd flow. It gives you a better understanding of when it's going to be crowded, when it's not, or predict when it should be crowded or not. Um, typically, I tend to go with the latter part of the, the season for Halloween. Um, I may actually push it back a week. Uh, or move it forward a week depending on the travel agent and what's available because it appears that the week that I have originally picked is going to be a little more busy apparently. Uh, so the week after that and the week before that are a lot lighter. So may actually end up going um, one way or the other. I'm kind of leaning to pushing it to the back end of October uh, just because of the sheer fact that the latter parts of the day, weeks uh, or the days that I would be down there, I might actually get to see some Christmas decorations, which I've never seen before. So, to me, that would be exciting to see things that I've not seen before. So, we'll kind of see how that plays out and where it goes from there. Uh, I will say that the quote that she did provide me, just to give you an idea, uh, because the week that I originally am looking, there's not a lot of moderate resorts available. There's only one, which is the Caribbean Beach Club. I've stayed at Caribbean Beach Club before. It's nice-ish. To me, it's just like I'm staying at a resort in Florida because it looks Florida-themed. Um, same bright colors, same kind of atmosphere. Um, I like the ones that take me to a place other than Florida, even though I'm in Florida, because I feel like Disney could do more with that particular resort. Also, that particular resort um, is under a lot of refurbishment right now. Uh, the main dining hall and gift shop area that you would normally go uh, to is all closed and gone. Uh, so you would have to eat out of a truck and it's just not really worth that extra. The other one was a villa at Copper Creek, which is kind of exciting to me. It's, it's pretty promising. That's a deluxe. Never stated a deluxe. Those are the fancy ones. Um, so I'm thinking, eh, because that's um, almost a $4,000 stay with tickets. Um, so it's kind of a toss up. If I push it back or move it forward, I could potentially stay at Animal Kingdom Lodge, which is the same price. Uh, and I would be at Animal Kingdom Lodge. So I would be able to look at animals wandering about on the savanna all day, which would be kind of neat. Uh, so I don't know, I'm torn. Uh, I don't know. So I'm going to contact her to find out some more information. Looks like this time I might actually be booking through a travel agent. Who knows? So stay tuned. Anyway, I'm going to go back to work and I will see you guys in a little bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Monday is almost over for me. I have managed to do quite a bit of work today along with talking to you. Um, I'm still talking with the um, travel agents. I actually have one that I'm talking to back and forth quite a bit right now. Um, because I'm thinking of moving the dates around, the really cool part is, is it may end up being into my favor to move the dates. Um, not only just for monetary, but also where I stay. So we'll know more as it comes along. I won't ever tell you where I'm staying until you see it. Uh, the reason being is it's a surprise to learn about where I'll be staying while I'm there and what I'll be doing. Uh, and fear not, uh, I will be videoing and vlogging while there as well, uh, when time comes to go. Uh, I will probably do daily vlogs on my phone, um, and I may do a special video with this camera, uh, because this camera is so much better in quality than the uh, iPhone. Uh, but it should be, uh, because it's definitely a DSLR. So anyway, uh, Monday is almost a wrap. Uh, I am working on getting my grocery list together uh, for the evening ahead to go to the store. Uh, I, it's pouring rain, so unfortunately, any attempts to fly Skycat one and a half once it's arrived, well, that's not going to go. So I guess it'll just be to the grocery store and to get something to eat and call it a done day for me. So I really appreciate you guys following along with my daily vlog. Uh, it means a lot to me, even if there's not just a few of you, uh, it means a lot to me. So if you are stumbling across this vlog just randomly, uh, and you like what you see, 
uh, and want to be bored out of your mind every day, definitely click down below and subscribe. Um, like, share, whatever you want to do. I don't really care. Um, it's really cool. I like getting to connect with everyone. Um, I never thought so far, that, I mean, I, you know, my journey is still new and fresh compared to a lot of people. But I never thought in a million years that I would make a good friend in the process. Uh, that I would learn a lot about myself and about what I uh, like and dislike. Uh, so, yeah. So if you enjoy my journey, please make sure you subscribe and follow along. Follow any of the social media stuff that's up there. Uh, and I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Till then.